Hello, Wayne Barron here for DarkEffects.net. Here to bring y'all a Windows 7 instructional video set. Now, I just recently installed Windows 7. I'm trying to get used to the system, how it works and everything before I get a new laptop sometime, hopefully, really soon. So anyway, until that time comes, I've got it on a dual boot on my uh, development laptop that I've been using to do all my other tutorials on. And what I'm going to show you here is, well, I always like to have everything that I do in a safe place on the computer. And in this case, I want to make sure that all of my documents, uh, for an example, whenever you go inside of uh, your computer, uh, your local drive, and inside of the users folder, you will find these folders in here, something similar to this right here. Now, this one right here is the folder that I'm working out of. And this is my domain folder. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go inside my domain folder. Now each one of these areas in here is your data that is stored on the C drive. And see the bad thing about this is that if it's stored on the C drive and your system crashes or you get a virus and, and you gotta do a reinstall or something happens uh, to your system, it's always good to have your stuff backed up. Now the best way to back up your information on your computer is to have your stuff located in another directory besides the one that is temp uh, that is actually uh, uh, inserted inside of uh, whichever operating system that you're working with, whether it's Windows 7, XP, Vista, whatever, whatever. And so what I want to show you here is how it's really easy with using Windows 7 to do this. And I believe Vista might be the same way, I'm not sure. But on Windows 7, it's very easy to relocate where your data is saved at. And so what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to relocate my information to another drive altogether. As a matter of fact, the place that I'm gonna uh, put mine is actually sitting on my server. And so I'm going to have all my stuff saved directly to my server. And so nothing is actually saved on my desktop, on my, uh, on my laptop, period. And so, but anyway, what you do is that you right click on the folder. And remember, this is gotten to by uh, your C drive, users folder, and then whichever folder is yours. This is just my username dot my domain name. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna relocate my desktop. So you're gonna right click on it, go down to properties, and then whenever the property dialog box appears, you're gonna go over to location. And then right here it shows C drive users car seven, which is just uh, my username with uh, the seven for Windows seven here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna choose the move. You click on move and then it's gonna bring up in the dialog box. Okay, then you're gonna go from here and find out where you wanna put it at. Okay, I am going to put it, I believe it's this drive right here. That's my web drive, my software drive. So yeah, it's gonna be this one. And so this is my profile right here. So I'm gonna go inside my profile and then I'm gonna choose desktop and then I'm going to select that folder. And now that's gonna change it to my Y drive profile desktop. I'm gonna click apply. I'm gonna choose yes to this, and then I'm gonna click okay. And then what you do is you do that to each location that you want to uh, change its folder location to. And so you just uh, click on location. Once the property dialog comes up, you choose move, and then you go in and you find out where you wanna put it at, which is gonna be my Y drive inside profile and then this is favorites so we're going to go inside of our favorites and then we're going to select the folder you click apply choose yes choose okay all right, once it builds all that information if you got a lot of data that it's got to move then it's going to move everything over so it's going to take you a second so once it gets finished doing that and so um but that's basically what you do, is that what you're doing is that you're making sure that your data and your information is safe in case anything happens. Now, if you've got a single partition 
and you don't have multiple partitions and see over here I've got uh, this right here is my main drive C D E F G these right here are often the main drive this right here is off of my USB drive and then this right here is my shared server drive location and so I don't hardly keep anything inside of my C drive because you never know if anything is going to happen to your system. So to make sure that you don't lose your important data, it is always best to have it backed up somewhere. And this right here is a constant backup so that all your information is constantly backed up all the time and you never have to worry about it. And so with that said, I hope that y'all can save your data and uh, but if if you uh, what I was gonna say a minute ago if you have multiple partitions on your main drive you can also do this the only downfall about relocating it onto another partition is that if you lose your drive then you lose everything but if you have to reinstall your operating system for any reason then having it relocated on another partition on that drive means that you can reinstall on your C drive and still have your data over there the way you don't have to do any backups not unless you need to do any registry editing or anything like that and um, I mean there's even ways of, of uh, relocating your Google Chrome information and I'll do a tutor on that later on as well and so but what you what you're after is you want to be able to make sure that your information is safe in case you ever lose your drive so with that said i'll let y'all go y'all have a rocking weekend enjoy yourselves and enjoy windows 7. i'm a little frustrated for not being able to uh remember your view and list i like doing view and lists like this but unfortunately when it doesn't give you the option to save that which is really a pain in the butt so far that's the only quirk that i found that i dislike so other than that y'all have a rocking weekend wayne baron for darkeffects.net y'all enjoy have fun